Hey everyone, it's John here. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can compare two lists with the XLOOKUP function. So in this video, I'm gonna be using the XLOOKUP function, but you can do the exact same things with VLOOKUP if you only have access to the VLOOKUP function. Now, when you're comparing two lists, you're going to be doing one of three things. So you either want to return items from list A that are also in list B, you want to return items that are in list A, but not in list B, or items that are in list B, but not in list A. And I'm going to show you how you can do all three of these things with the XLOOKUP function. So let's take a look. So here we've got two lists of items, and you can see that they've got some common items as well as there's some items in this list that's not in this list, and some items in this list that's not in this list. So we can actually use XLOOKUP to compare these two lists and see what's in common and what's not in common. So first up, let's see what's in common between these two lists. So we can use XLOOKUP and the thing we're gonna look up is a given product. And then we're gonna look for that given product in our second list here. And what we're going to return is the product name. And if we press enter, we just get the single value there based on the first item that we're looking up. But we can actually edit this. And here, instead of a single item, what we're gonna do is look up all of the items in list A, and we're gonna look for them in list B and return the product name from list B. And when we do that, we get a list of items as well as some errors. So here we can see that these are the common items between list A and B whenever we get an item returned. And when we have an NA error, that means the XLOOKUP was not able to find that item in list B. So for example, this NA error means that the Logitech webcam item is not contained in list B. And we can do a similar lookup for list B. So we can use XLOOKUP on list B here, and we can look inside list A and return the item name from list A. And again, we're gonna get the item returned if it finds that item in list A, and we're gonna get an NA value if it does not find that item. So for example, this NA item here means that the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 is not contained in list A. And you can see that with these two XLOOKUP formulas that the common items are gonna be the same in both of them. So here we've got PlayStation 5, iPhone, Dell, and MacBook, and that's exactly what we have in our results here. Now the only difference is going to be if we have duplicate values for example, if I copy and paste this into list A, so if we have two MacBook Airs, then our results in this XLOOKUP is going to have that duplicate value, whereas here we don't have that. Now, from these results, we can get only the common items, and we can do that with a filter function so here we can filter our XLOOKUP results. And what we want to include is anything that is not an NA error. And so this just gives us our values that are returned in the XLOOKUP function. And similarly, we can do that here. And again, we just want to return the values that are not NA errors. And we can also get a list of all the items that are in one list and not in the other list based on our NA errors. And again, we're gonna use a filter function for that. And here we're gonna filter our original list A 
and here we're gonna filter it based on these NA errors. So anything that is an NA error, we're gonna return the corresponding item from list A. And you can see our first NA error here corresponds to the Logitech webcam. And that's exactly what we have in our results here. And similarly, we can find the items that are in B, but not in A. And here we're gonna list or filter our items from list B. And again, we only wanna return those items that correspond to our NA errors. And when we press enter, you can see that we get the two corresponding values from our NA errors. So our second NA error corresponds to Samsung Galaxy S23. And that's exactly what we have there. So that's how we can use XLOOKUP to return the common items from both lists and the items that are in one list, but not the other as well. Now, since this is a common task in Excel comparing two lists, we can build a custom Lambda function that's going to do this for us. And to do this, we're gonna use the Excel Labs add-in. So if you don't have this add-in, you can go up to the Home tab and go to Add-ins to install it. And then More Add-ins. And here we can search for Excel Labs. And we should see the add-in here and you can install it from here. And once you've got that installed, it should appear in your Home tab and you can open it up here. Now I've already got my custom list.compare lambda formula defined here in the modules tab. And once we've got that saved, we can use it in our workbook here. So here's our list.compare function and we can compare two lists. And by default, this is going to return only the items in our first list, but not in our second list. And it actually has an optional argument that's going to allow us to return various different results. So it can also return only the items in our second list, but not in our first list. It can also return the common items between lists A and B as well as the common items between lists B and A. And these should be the same as long as we don't have any duplicate values in our lists. And we can also return all of the items from list A and all of the items from list B. And essentially this stacks the two lists on top of each other. And we can also return all of the items from list B and all the items from list A, and that's going to stack our second list on top of our first list. So there you go. That's how you can use the XLOOKUP function to compare items in two lists and return either the common items or the items that are in one list and not the other. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for future Excel videos like this one. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one.